Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and today we are going to be checking in for July for week 2, which is going to be from the 10th to the 16th. So I already have all of the expenses written down here. I usually have my key, but I don't know where I put it, but I should have it for the next video. But the key essentially just has all the different colors on it to explain which color means what category. I have the key shown in all of my other weekly check-ins, but this week I'm going to just roll with it since I already have all the colors memorized and I will definitely walk you guys through as well. But since I have all the expenses, down i'm gonna go ahead and just lay these down first before we fill in our weekly check-in and our weekly balance so of course as always i'm gonna go ahead and use my app it's going to be that daily budget app for this one once i go in it tells me how much i spent i will have a video linked below that goes over all of our checking accounts how they're hooked up along with the apps that i like to use to help me keep track of our expenses since we are cashless we do just like to use our credit card for everything since we are able to accumulate that two percent cash back but let's go ahead and get right into it i am gonna try to make this video a bit faster than usually since i do have some other videos i want to film today but for the app we're gonna be checking in from the 10th to the 16th so i'm gonna scroll down to the 10th and then for the 10th, we didn't spend anything. As you guys can see here, there's no transactions. For the 11th, we have the first one, which is pizza, which is that fork and knife icon. That one is from our eating out category. And that one is this pink color here. So for that one, it was on the 11th. So I'm going to lay that down. And this was just from Pizza Hut. I believe Dustin found like a coupon, so we decided to just get Pizza Hut. We've definitely been eating out a lot more this month. The next category is for a household, and that little house icon is from a sinking fund. I actually did not write down any of the sinking funds yet, so I am going to write that down now real quick. For the sinking fund, it was taken out of the household category, and then we purchased some things for the yard and for cleaning. So we have household. That was on 7 11 for $33. And that was for yard and cleaning. <laughs> that was definitely a bit crooked, but that is okay. And then the last category that we spent on the 11th was from Target. And that grocery cart icon means that it was a grocery expense. So for groceries, that color is going to be blue. So for Target, we spent $17 for groceries we usually don't get groceries from target it's usually from like wegmans or costco or something but that day we did next we have another sinking fund category this is for home this is when we purchased a shovel the shovel was five dollars because we have some weeds that we have the roots are really deep so we're trying to like dig them out Okay, so I had that one written down as well. And the other two categories that we spent for the 12th is both from groceries. One is from Wegmans and the other one is from H Mart. We don't shop at H Mart that often. What we do is usually to restock on some of the essentials that we already have or just to pick up like some ramen or, or bok choy or something like that. But that is for Wegmans. We spent $22. And then H Mart was $29. And then let's go to the 13th. On the 13th, this little shopping bag icon, that's actually from our allowance category. So we did end up getting some phone chargers. And that shopping allowance category is this violet color here. So I don't know if you guys can really see it. I kind of mushed the words together. But that says phone charger. For $25 it was like a battery pack charger we got it on um, prime day <laughs> amazon prime day so that was that one and then we also ate out this day we got some pho house we also got chick-fil-a so chick-fil-a we spent $11 and then pho house we ended up spending $52 we got some pho and then i believe we got some rice platters as well so that was on the 13th Nothing was spent on the 14th, and then on the 15th, we got gas, and then also we spent from our eating out category again. We got some ice cream from Kyoto, and I love their matcha and milk soft serve there. It's so good, but that was $7, and then for gas, we spent $43, 
it definitely feels a lot nicer to not be spending so much on gas this month since you guys know previous months when my husband was commuting back and forth it was very very costly so now that he's able to work from home it's been really really nice so that was the 15th and then on the 16th looks like we got groceries again twice once from Wegmans the other one from Costco I know from Costco we got a whole bunch of fruit we got black cherries when black cherries are in season I love eating black cherries they're so sweet and they're so good and then unfortunately for me when I was checking out I ended up dropping a bunch of them because the package was open I didn't know it was open and it spilled everywhere oh my gosh it was so embarrassing and then Wegmans we got some I don't remember what exactly we got we probably just restocked on some essentials that we had but we also ended up getting Thai chef this day Thai chef is a um there's a restaurant that my husband took me to and it was actually really really good the drunk noodles the pad thai we ended up getting it like a few more times but we're just checking in for this week so that is actually going to be it for the app that i use and then all of those expenses are now down now to put down our non spent stickers and then for that we will have only two days since we definitely did spend a bit more than normally but those were the two days that we did not spend anything at all now let's go ahead and check in for the week Alrighty, so first let's go to the weekly check-in and the weekly balance i'm going to go ahead and fill out the same categories for groceries eating out gas allowance and pups and you guys might see that this layout looks a little bit different from my normal weekly check-ins it's because i definitely did not realize that this format was different compared to the other ones before i released it so this June one, as well as the September one, the weekly check-in looks the same, but I did end up deciding that I wasn't going to change it since I've already released it in this format and the listing images in this format, the release videos in this format. So I didn't want to cause confusion by changing it back to how it was previously. So for the month of July and the month of September, the weekly check-in does look a little bit different compared to and the weekly check-in for june as well they all look like this compared to how they used to look which was like this for category rollover spent remaining they still have that like kind of like the category spent remaining but there's no rollover it just has a start in place of it instead but yeah okay so let's go ahead and check in so you guys already know i like to do the easiest ones first so we know that pups category nothing was spent pups is like a yellow color so we'll do that so we still have fifty dollars remaining for this one for allowance is that violet color here that was twenty five dollars for allowance we had fifty five dollars last week that minus twenty five means that we have thirty dollars left over for allowance and then also for gas we only have one category so that is the one transaction for $43 and then last week we had 251 that minus the 43 equals $208 remaining and then we have eating out and groceries so those we definitely have a bit so let's just start with the eating out the pink ones so we have over here which is $24 plus 52 plus 11 plus plus seven dollars here plus 41 all those pink category transactions equals 135 dollars that we spent this week last week we had 193 dollars left over that minus the 135 means that we still have 58 dollars and that is very little considering we still have a couple weeks left but that's okay and then going back to groceries which are the blue ones. We have $17 plus 29 plus 22 plus 46 plus 43. That all in total equals $157. And then last week we had $360 left over. That minus the 157 means we still have a $203 left over for our groceries category. So I am going to go ahead and just add all of these up because I do have that total section here. So I might as well just use it. So all of these categories added up equals to 
and $49 left for all of our monthly categories. Now let's go ahead and flip over to our weekly balance. So for weekly balance, we're gonna go ahead and check in for the same categories as always. So we have bills, we have monthly budget, we have sinking funds. I went ahead and transferred over the, the start amounts over to here. It's the exact same. Sometimes I write it, sometimes I don't write it. But these are our starting amounts for each category. So let's do the easiest ones first. So for monthly budget, we just calculated these. Let's add all of the amounts that we spent for this week together. So that was a 157 plus 135 plus 43 plus the 25. That is $360 that we spent for this week. And that is a lot. So the 360 minus the $909, that equals to $549 left over for our monthly budget categories. And you'll see that that matches here as well. For sinking funds, we can do that one next. So for sinking funds, it looks like we only have these two transactions here. And I always like to check it off because it's like a visual thing. It's a lot easier for me to see. But we have the one household expense for $33 and then the $5 expense for home. Those two combined equals $38 that we spend from sinking funds. And then we started off in the week with 4756 that minus the 38 equals a remainder of $4,718. Okay, so that is good. Next, let's check our bills to see what other bills came out for the month. So for our bills category, you guys will know that I like to mark which ones comes out of credit cards and which ones come out of our normal checking account. I'm assuming that mobile came out. And then also, I'm hoping maybe you're Maybe one of these other ones came out. I don't know, so we are gonna go ahead and check. I'm gonna check our checking account as well as our credit card to make sure our credit card transactions look good. They're all from us, everything looks normal. And also to check to see if any of these uh, credit card transactions came out, our credit card bills came out, so I'll be right back. Huh, so the only other one that came out was our mobile bill. So our mobile bill came out for 183.75. So let's go ahead and write that down. 183.75. And this comes out directly from our checking account. It's a, it does not get paid with our credit card. The only ones that gets paid with our credit cards are the ones I put a little C next to it. And our mobile bill should be changing next month, especially since we changed our plan. But we started off with 365.87. That minus our mobile bill means we have an extra 182. 12 to pay our remaining bills which should be enough and since this already came out of our checking account we don't have to transfer this to our primary checking because this is already paid these other two categories we pay with everything with our credit card so the funds are still in our checking account right now so we have to transfer it i know that sounds that might sound a little confusing if this is your first time watching these videos but definitely feel free to reference previous weekly check-ins and then also that video i will be linking below that explains how our categories are all linked together but let's go ahead and add all three of these categories up so we have 182.12 plus 549 dollars plus 47.18 that equals $5,449.12. This is how much we should have in our second checking account that holds all the funds for these three categories. But before we double check that that is the right amount, we still have to transfer over the $360 and the $38 since these two got paid with our credit card. So $360 plus $38, that is a total of $398 that we have to transfer from our secondary account to our primary. And that is to pay our credit card since these were paid with our credit card and not with a debit card or cash. All right, so that is now transferred and this matches perfectly with that account. So our weekly balance is now completed. Everything else is checked out. Everything is balanced out perfectly as well. So that is gonna be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I do apologize for missing my little key over here and then i also don't have my book to show you guys visually the accounts but i hope you guys do enjoy it nonetheless thank you guys so much as always for tuning in and hopefully i'll see you guys next time bye